So yeah, just be prepared for your technicians to see every part of you. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Joyce and I post videos every single week. So if you guys have commented that you guys want to know about my experience with laser hair removal and in my extreme transformation video that I will have somewhere linked here, I shared that I was getting my underarms and my Brazilian laser. So that was certainly an experience and in this video I'm going to be explaining what laser is, what the benefits are, what to expect before and after the treatment, my personal experience. But if you guys are interested in this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below. Hit that post notification bell right here so you don't miss any videos in the future and let's get started. So the way laser hair removal works is that pulses of highly concentrated lights are emitted from the laser into the hair follicles and the pigment in the follicles absorb the light and that destroys the hair. Laser hair removal is a very popular treatment to remove unwanted hair from literally anywhere on your body, your face, your arms, your bikini line. And it's said that 90% of laser hair removal patients who are good candidates see permanent hair loss after three to six sessions. So aside from clearer, smoother skin and also permanent hair reduction, laser hair removal is also really great with reducing irritation and also ingrown hairs because this treatment encourages your hair to grow straight. So let's talk about some of the benefits. The first being precision. Laser can selectively target dark, coarse hair, leaving the surrounding skin completely undamaged. The next being speed because each pulse of the laser takes a fraction of a second and it can cover many hairs at the same time. The laser can treat an area of approximately the size of a quarter every second. So for small areas such as your upper lip, this can literally take about a minute. And for larger areas like your back, it can take about an hour. And the last being predictability because most patients see permanent hair loss after an average of three to seven treatments. So there really isn't a guessing game with the results of laser because you know that with what you're paying for, you're going to see a permanent hair reduction. So what to expect before you get laser hair removal. You're going to sign in, you're going to get paired up with a technician and you're probably going to have like a 30 minute consultation with them, basically explaining what your experience is with burning, your hair growth patterns, what your goals are, if you're on any medications, basically so the technician knows what your background is so that they can cater and personalize a laser plan for you. So before you walk into your appointment, you have to shave either right before or the day of the treatment because you cannot have any hairs, you cannot have any deodorants, lotion, any type of residue on that area. The area also cannot be exposed to the sun or fake tanners four weeks prior to the treatment. So I highly recommend that you plan this out and do this during a time where you won't be outside so much. So I definitely did this during the fall slash winter time because I was going to be inside the entire time. So definitely keep that in mind. And depending on where you go and the size of the area that you want done, whether it's a small area or a large area, you might be given a topical numbing cream to put on 20 to 30 minutes before your actual treatment just to help with the stinging of the laser pulses. So after the treatment is done, the technician will usually log in the strength of the laser that they use on you that day. And then they will adjust it for the next time, depending on how much hair grew back and how you reacted to it. You absolutely have to avoid sun exposure 24 hours after after you get your treatment and you also have to avoid hot showers, working out, hot saunas. If you do, you run the risk of creating an environment for bacteria and irritation to exist on your skin and this can also lead to discoloration and that's exactly what we don't want to do. So let's talk about the reason why I decided to get laser hair removal, especially for my underarms and my Brazilian. So growing up, I avoided razors as much as possible because I was under the impression that the more you shave, the quicker your hair will grow back and the thicker your hair will grow back. And that's something that I absolutely did not want. So I started doing things like tweezing, epilating, using Nair or V, which is basically just a way of chemically removing your hair. But then there was really a point in my life where I kind of got sick of maintaining, you know, being hairless because I was spending hours every single week just removing hair all the time. 
And for me, whenever I didn't have hair, everything was perfect, everything was good. But then once the hair started growing back, I definitely felt discomfort because I believe it was a mixture of ingrown hairs and also because my hair wasn't growing straight. And I pretty much was convinced that laser hair removal was the solution to everything because my sister also got laser hair removal prior to me trying it out. And she has seen great results from that. So I kind of just jumped the gun and also did it myself. So I actually ended up going to two separate places for my underarms and my Brazilian because I bought a Groupon for each of them and with the Groupons you can't buy two for one place so I kind of divvied it up that way and I was curious to see what my experience would be with the two separate locations. With both locations it was pretty interesting because they used different laser hair removal equipment. So with my underarms, they actually use a tool that kind of shoots out hot air but simultaneously shoots out cold air. So it kind of neutralizes the feeling of the laser and you don't really feel much pain. So my pain was probably like a 1 or 2 out of 10 with that. And in total, it took like 5 or 10 minutes to get both my underarms done. Uh, with my Brazilian, on the other hand, it's a little bit more interesting because the pain for that had to be like a 5 or 6 out of 10 because... Um, that area is just a little bit more sensitive and it's funny because every single time the light would shoot instead of getting numbing cream or anything she actually used an ice pack so i don't know if most places do that but the ice pack kind of sufficed in terms of handling the pain with both areas i got a total of six sessions for each and by the time it was the fifth session i was pretty much 95 percent completely hairless and I saved the last session for later on in the year where I'm probably gonna need a touch up or the hair grows back a little bit more. But I highly recommend if you are booking for laser hair removal, definitely get a minimum of six sessions. The one thing I wanna point out if you're curious about getting a Brazilian hair removal is that I didn't know that meant like front to back. A little bit of TMI because I didn't know this either, but after your technician is done with doing the front of your coochie, she makes you flip over to your stomach and then she makes you, you know, spread your cheeks because she has to get the backside. Um, so yeah, just be prepared for your technician to see every part of you and your technician should be very professional and trained to make you feel comfortable. So don't feel awkward whatsoever. She's seen many, many, many woman parts in her lifetime. So definitely just be comfortable with doing that. So the general sensation of what laser hair removal feels like is like a small hot pinch or if you can imagine a smaller rubber band snapping against your skin. So a lot of you guys have been asking how much should I pay for these laser hair removal treatments and let me tell you that Groupon will be your best friend. So the cost varies and it depends on the size of the treatment, it depends on how many sessions you require, it depends on if you have a doctor or it's someone else doing it, and it depends on where you live. So when I was doing my little research, it actually said that a session averages to be around $285 per session. But with my underarms, six sessions, it ended up being like $140 which is, I think, a huge bargain. With my Brazilian, it's considered a large slash extra large area, and I got it for $175. <sighs> so, ladies and gents, the moral of the story here is always use Groupon. Is the treatment permanent? For the most part, yes, after your sessions are complete, your hair should be permanently reduced slash gone. And if the hair does grow back, it will grow back definitely finer and thinner. And you can come back for a touch up every six to 12 months. There are certain exceptions and that relates to the hormones in your body. If you're taking birth control pills, if you are pregnant, your hair will definitely grow back faster. How many treatments should you get? I recommend six sessions minimum for each body part. Hair removal is safe. Well, according to the US Food and Drug Administration, it was approved safe in 1997. So yes, it's definitely safe. I am not a professional, but from my personal experience, I definitely found it to be very safe. So before you make any decisions, definitely consult your doctors, your dermatologists, and definitely make sure that you have a licensed technician doing the laser treatments before you move forward with the process. And last but not least, a lot of people have been asking me what's the difference between getting your hair professionally removed versus at-home laser hair removal tools. 
I've asked my technician this before and also based on my research, there are a lot more downsides to using at-home laser hair removal tools versus getting it professionally done. The first difference is that at-home laser devices are less effective. Since they're selling these devices to everyday people, they have to take into consideration that there is a risk that people might burn themselves. So these devices come with less power. And so with less power, that means you are getting longer treatments per session and overall. These devices are typically very small and handheld, so it's gonna take a lot of time for you to cover the territory that you wanna cover, and it's gonna take a lot longer for you to see those results that you want. You will definitely see a hair reduction with these devices, but it will not be like the permanent home run that you are looking for. Most importantly, these devices have a limited range for hair and skin color. A lot of people might not know this, but the laser in the device zeroes in on the pigment in the hair follicle, so it typically works if there's a lot of contrast. So these devices are most suitable for people with lighter skin and darker hair. So if you don't have that combination, then the device probably won't work for you. And last but not least, it's pretty expensive. When I was looking at these tools on the market, they range from an average of $150 minimum so and they can go as high as like five hundred dollars so that is pretty expensive for a small tool that doesn't guarantee permanent hair loss for your skin color and hair type and that wraps up the entire video guys i hope i covered everything in this video but if there are any questions that you may have definitely leave them in the comment section down below and i will do my very best to answer them i hope this video helped a lot on your decision on whether or not lazy hair removal is right for you if you guys stuck around for this entire video thank you so so much for watching and i will see you guys next week bye mm -hmm.